In the year of 1979, in the province of Florida, in the city of Tampa, a great new museum was opening. The queen of the land, Rosaline, would be present to dedicate this new wonder. Monsieur Budley has gathered an ensemble of dancers, acrobats, and musicians who will journey from the countryside to the city to welcome the queen and herald the museum's opening. Before starting the journey, the ensemble asked for a safe travel at the site of an ancient monument. A simple village girl has been selected to present the queen with a gift, a magical pillow, a pillow reported to bring fortune to all who hold it. All agree that a boy with a cat for a head is a good omen for the day to come. Monsieur Budley and his parader begin their trek with a fanfare. Owing to local superstition, many country people are reluctant to view the parade. They are confused and frightened by this stranger. Empty streets are a testament to the power of local chieftain and warning from medicine men. The light-hearted parader cannot penetrate this membrane of resistance. Ce vieil homme regarde de son passé froid, son regard fixé sur un souvenir scellé dans son cœur. To show that they are friendly and harmless, the parader try to coax local out of their house. They fail and move on. The innocence of youth is without prejudice. Children from this institution have no natural fear of the parader and happily welcome them. The journey continues. Monsieur Budley and the parader stop at a local inn for refreshment. As musicians begin playing, dancers become intoxicated by the sound and cannot stop themselves from moving. As the parader approach Tampa, they are met by more worldly people. Many are drawn to the allure of the magic pillow and long to hold it. Monsieur Budley and his entourage arrives in Tampa and is greeted by local officials. The museum is in the shadow of the city's only castle. Now the parader are subject to new and different sights. Here, a sorcerer who has turned a man into a dog forces the creature to perform with his assistant. The confused man-dog will perform until his debt to the sorcerer is paid. A local shaman welcomes the queen with a ceremonial dance. He bears an image of the king on his costume. The village girl rests on the magic pillows as dignitary arrive to await the queen and the museum's opening. The queen speaks. The queen and local officials open the museum. The village girl presents the magic pillow to the queen's prime minister. Monsieur Budley and friends prepare for the next adventure, and they live happily ever after. <laughs>